Shalom, Kol Holol Yahawa, Bahashim Yahawa Shai, Bahashim Raka Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akiam and to the Akwaf, that'll be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad, I'm back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweshai. It's going to be an in transit. And, um, you know, um, in the spirit, all through the spirit to feed the lambs of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweshai as commanded to feed the sheep. Okay? So, um, I'll just speak on what comes to mind. And if I could get a scripture or two, you know, I'll go ahead and pull it up. You know? But, um, yeah, brothers and sisters, man, I just want to exhort you to continue in the faith. You know, keep fighting, keep pushing, you know, and stay, and stay strong, man, because, hey, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, false prophets out here. You know, a lot, of, a lot of demons, you know, and hey, man, you got you to gotta be grounded and rooted. You got to be grounded and rooted in, in, our, in our power. You know? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know? The scriptures say if they could have deceived, you know, if they could deceive the very elect, they would, but they can't. Okay? They can't. So, um, you got to be careful out here, man. This is the book of Matthew chapter 7 and verse 15. It says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. All right, be aware, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. And this reminds me of uh, General Yohanna, man, of ISUPK. You know, he's telling, he's telling, uh, he's telling you uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, you Jakes, who blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who are Israelites. He's telling you to take the job, man. He's telling you to take the vaccination, get, you know? He's telling you to get the vaccine. There's no problem with it, you know? So he's going off, man. He's going off, all right? So you got to be careful of uh, 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 sheep and wolf clothing, man, all right? It says, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, okay? But inwardly they are raving Wolves, man. So you are, you have to be uh, careful, careful of this guy, man. General Yohanna, man. You know, because he's going off, man. He's telling Israel to do the wrong thing. All right, he's telling he's telling Israel to do the wrong thing, man. So as I said, this lesson, uh, this is an organic lesson. I didn't have anything planned. I just a pull, uh, you know, scriptures would come to mind as I speak. You know. But hey, man, it is what it is, man. It is, it is what it is, man. I'm telling you, man. You know, we gotta, you gotta, be, you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta be careful, man. You gotta be careful, man. But I mean, hey, like I say, man, you gotta be grounded. You gotta, you gotta be grounded in the word. Okay, you got to be grounded in the word, man, because a lot of false prophets. You know, the scripture tells us there are a lot of false prophets and uh, 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 many antichrists out in, out in the world. So you got to be careful, man. You know, you got to be careful. You know, but this is, um, I'm going to get this, Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. It says, woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said the Lord. Okay, so the scripture is saying, woe. Woe means destruction. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy 
and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said the Lord. Therefore, thus said the Lord of Israel, the law of power of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you, okay, the evil of your doings, said the Lord. So the Lord is saying he's going to visit for that. You, 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 you're you, not going to go unpunished. You know? You can't just um, scatter the flock and not visit them and think that it's not going to be a consequence. Okay? So in uh, Jeremiah chapter 21 and verse 2, it's telling you, you know, it's consequences for that, man. So you false prophets and you antichrist that's out here leading the flock astray, you pastors, you know? Hey, man. It's a time of judgment. You know, it's a time of judgment, man. You know? Except you repent. Okay? Except you repent and seek the Lord in all truth and sincerity and, and feed the sheep the proper and correct way with the correct doctrine, man. Okay? That's why we don't do unity camps, man. Because if you don't come in, the, if you don't come, if you don't come in with hundred percent truth, we not, we not, we not, we not joining onto anything that is not the hundred percent truth, man. The hundred percent truth is that GMS, man. Okay, that's the that's the hundred percent truth, man. About the matter, man. You know, that's the hundred percent truth about the matter, man. You know. You know, uh, let, uh, 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 two can't walk together unless they agree, man. You got to be in agreement. Pause, pause, say, let us all speak the same. Speak the same. You know, let us all speak the same. We got to be of one mind. We one body. Okay, so that's why brothers don't do uh, unity camp, man, because some of these camps be going off. You know, they telling you that the mark of the beast is, is spiritual, is, is, is dating white women, you know. Uh, Nate from um, um, IUSIC uh, Telling you that there's no Jacob's trouble And all this different stuff When we know what the scripture says Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7 Tell you of a time of Jacob's trouble Okay, <clears throat> who's Jacob? The progenitor <clears throat> uh, The progenitor, the patriarch of the, uh, the 12 tribes of Israel You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans Whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob You are Israelites, man You are Israel all right, the Bible calls the times Jacob's trouble. All right, the book of Isaiah chapter thirty-four and verse sixteen says, "Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail." Meaning, when it says no one of these, it's talking about the prophecies. Okay, no one of these prophecies shall fail. So, if, Je if Jeremiah chapter thirty and verse seven telling you of a time of Jacob's trouble, which hasn't happened yet, it's about to happen. That's a prophecy that's about to happen right now. Okay, we're in the beginning stages of that. Okay, because they right now they want to they want to vaccinate you. It's going to become mandatory at some point. All of us are part of Jacob's trouble. Ultimately, they want to microchip you. Okay, which is the mark of the beast. The Bible speaks about it. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16 on down. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark, save that he cannot buy nor sell. Okay, that's 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 the time. Of, uh, of, of temptation man Spoken up in the book of Revelation Chapter 3 and verse 10 Where the Lord said Because Because ye have kept the words of my patience I will also keep you Meaning the elect of Israel I will also keep you From the hour of temptation Which shall come upon the whole earth The whole world to try them Okay roughly paraphrasing So hey That's 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 all of that is leading up to Jacob's trouble, man. Because it's you. Remember, they made your face the face of the royal crown 19. Okay? So they want to jab you up. All right? They want to give you the Maxine. So, hey, that's the time of Jacob's trouble. But then again, you got you got uh, Bishop Nate. All right? Of the IUIC telling people that there's no, it's, it's no Jacob's trouble. All right? So, hey... Like I say, man, you got to be careful of some of these 
uh, 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 false prophets, man. Some of these pastors and some of these, uh, you know, these antichrists out here in the world. You got to be rooted and grounded in Yahweh Shai, man, our Lord and Savior. You know, that's what it is, man. You got to you gotta listen to his word out of this book, okay? The book of um, Proverbs chapter um, 30 and verse 5, it tells you that the word of the Lord is pure. You know, every word of the Lord, every word of the Most High is pure, man. Okay, Isaiah, uh, Salakia, 2nd Ezra chapter 15 and verse 2 tell you that his, uh, 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 his words are faithful and true. You know, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta read this book. This is the comfort. This is this is the Lord's spirit, okay. And the spirit must be rested upon you to have understanding, for you to see through spiritual lens, you know, and have that vision, as it says in uh, Revelation chapter three and verse eighteen, that I saw to see clearly, you know. Isaiah chapter sixty said, uh, "The Lord, as a matter of fact, let, let me get that, you know." Because you have some people that the Lord shine his light upon, you know? But the other rest of the people, those two-thirds, they're going to be in gross darkness, man. All right? They're going to be in gross darkness. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1. It says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is arisen upon thee. Okay, so you got to pray. You got to pray, man. The scripture said, uh, 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 pray without ceasing, man. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and 17. Okay? Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is arisen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness to people. Everybody's not going to get this. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Okay, so you got to be seeking the Lord, man, in truth and in sincerity, you know? That's how you're going to get this, by seeking the Lord wholeheartedly, giving, me, giving him your heart and your mind. The scripture tells you, Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5, okay? Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and with all thy mind, and lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all thy ways, and he shall direct your path, okay? He shall direct your path, man, all right? Scripture tells you Psalms 91, okay? He that abided in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So you'll be, you're going to be protected, man, in the house of the Most High, all right? Psalms 34 and 7 tell you, say, the angel of the Lord encamped round about those that fear him and delivereth them, okay? Roughly paraphrasing, man. So, hey, it is what it is, man. You got to trust in the Lord, man. You got to trust in the Lord, man. That's where it's at, man. So I'm going to get the scripture right here. And I'm going to get ready to close out, man. All right? This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 15. It says, Therefore thus said the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets. Okay, behold, I will feed them. Okay, that's not the one I wanted. That's not the one I wanted. I wanted uh, a calling... Let me pull it up real quick. Work with me, uh, according to my heart. The Lord said he was, uh, 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 feed them with pastors according to my heart, man. You know, so you you gotta you gotta um, you gotta uh, you gotta you, you you gotta know how to discern, man. You got to know how to, the, the, how to discern, man. You know? Truth from a lie, good from evil. You know? That's what it is. But the Lord said, uh, I'm actually pulling into work right now, going into security. The Lord said he's, he's going he's, he's gonna to give them pastors according to my heart. Okay? It's kind of eluding me right now, but I'm... Um, when I, when I, uh, slack you. <laughs> good, good morning, nah. good morning. Does, does he work? Does he work? Yes, sir. <laughs> slack you. Uh, I'm pulling into work here, man. Um, yeah, if I could get it real quick. 
I don't want to be uh, late or anything like that. I'm, I have to bring this lesson to a close. But like I was saying, the Lord, you know, the scripture said the Lord uh, uh, is going to uh, feed you, give you pastors according to, according to his heart. Okay? So this is what you want to do, man. You want to you wanna, uh, you wanna be able to discern good from evil. You know, so when you um, when you see these pastors, you 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 you, you are, are, are a prophet. You would know a person who is of the Lord, who is of Yahweh Shai. You know, we're not talking about sweet Jesus. We're talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's what we're talking about. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to bring it to a close up. Yeah, I got five minutes to be inside. So I'm going to bring it to a close up, man. Hopefully you were edified, man. You know, I'm going to go ahead and give all honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Okay? So until the next time, I don't want to wrap this up. That is to say, Lord willing, I'm going to say, Shalom.